Hi there, Saver Crypto. Uh, I'm just going to make a few notes here about what this account is worth and see what happens when I do the claims because um, I noticed with the smaller account I've got, uh, it wasn't particularly worth doing the actual claim. Uh, but I think it might be different with this one. Right, so the total worth is 24,262. Um, the amount of tokens I've got in the DEX assets is 61. 70 I'm just writing this stuff down and the amount of lock tokens I've got here is uh, 9,000 9,778 61 okay right so what I'm going to do is do this uh, boosted rewards here so it's like 137 dollars a max and some other little bits of other stuff okay Oh, okay, to fix that, I need to I need a bit more e gold. So, have I got any wrapped e gold? Got two dollars forty three there, so I can unwrap that. So let's do that. Okay. So that will obviously come up off the um, the dex assets, won't it? Like you see, two forty three there, and that will disappear, and that will become that will become zero. There you go. Right, okay, so I should be able to do it now. So I haven't got the boosted rewards thing, but I believe it's the same as coming over here and going claim boosted rewards. Okay, so that's where I was before, wasn't it? So let's do that, click continue. Now I've actually got seven transactions assigned there and then like another five on top of that. Um, with my smaller account um, I only had three to sign so I think that's because I've got extra farms and extra um, meta staking anyway they're all signed now so that will claim the boosted rewards okay so that's good let me just check what I've got in meta staking to see if there's anything worth having there uh, not really so that's it really that's all I can do I'm not going to add energy to any of the old XMAX because I, because I want it to unlock naturally from 2026 onwards. Okay, so let's make a note of these. So uh, before I had 24,262, now I've got 24,408. That's good. It's like 200 bucks up, isn't it, in a week? Uh, so the actual DEX assets I've got here are... 63.84 which is only up a couple of bucks nothing much at all but then the locked assets it was 9778 and it's now 9925.25 so most of what i've got is locked xmax not ideal there it is for future use so i guess this is added to this bunch here which unlocks on March 26th, 2027. <laughs> okay. So yeah, nothing much more I can do there, apart from answer a question that I had earlier. Okay, and this comment is from Rich Stanley, who said, Evening buddy, thank you for your video. It's a pleasure. Uh, running about 201 million power now. I guess he means energy. Um, just getting my tokens each week and hoping that over time our patience will pay off. Please could you make a video about whether it's better to take your eagle tokens out of the staking in the app and put against all the XMEX and farm it. Thank you and have a lovely weekend. OK, well, that was actually the original kind of strategy that we were going to do back in or well, we were doing back in November 2021. And it, everything seemed fine and dandy there because we kind of assumed that the price of MEX or LK MEX as it was then for the locked version we kind of assumed that that would go up over time and of course it didn't it kind of went down rather badly in time now the question is is what you're saying is is should you make liquidity with e-gold and the xmex you've got and then put it back into the farm um okay well i can't give financial advice obviously but uh let me give you my thoughts about what i would do if it was me OK, well, that could easily be me because uh, I am producing XMEX. I'm also producing the e-gold because I have got um, about 300 e-gold staked on what was the MyR app, which is now the Exportal app. And I think at the moment I'm getting about 9% APR. Um, now, 
what I was originally doing was getting that e-gold, combining it with what was then the LK Max, and then farming away and making more LK Max. What I didn't know was the fact that Max would drop in value, uh, you know, almost 99% over the next sort of like 18 months, which is what it's done. If you created liquidity now with eGold and XMAX, it, it might not work out bad, you know, because I think that XMAX may well go down until about March or April next year, which is basically when the original Alco Max will stop unlocking. So people will stop selling it every month, I think. Um, so there's that, but the actual rate of unlocking is now starting to decrease now. So to me, the price of Max should be near a bottom. I also think the price of eGold is near a bottom as well. But there's always going to be a possibility that you know the price still goes down until March or April next year. So if that's the case, you probably don't necessarily want to be making more liquidity to go into the uh, you know farm here. Um, I mean, obviously it's your decision, but uh, I've only got stuff here because I've kind of got trapped in there uh, because you know I went into this quite heavy in 2021 and it was all looking great, and now it's not. So I'm probably looking at you know ways to get out with minimal loss in like two three even four years time um that said i think the opportunity there now is probably quite good actually there are probably better opportunities um i would say um but overall i like gaining a bit of egld every every week or every few days or whatever in the X portal app. Now this might not stay, you know, at the same percentage forever. I mean, indeed with like Rosetta staking, one of the staking providers there, I was getting about 13% uh, APY and now that's down to like 9% or something. So it's not going to stay amazing forever. So, um, you know, I'm going to keep uh, eGold in there for, for quite a while, certainly. So, I would probably say that if it was me, I would not take the eGold out of the X Portal app and, uh, you know, pair it with the mechs that you produce here to increase the farm size. I would I would not do that. Uh, but obviously not financial advice. Uh, I mean, bear in mind that all the uh, mechs you've got here anyway is producing the stuff with the meta bonding so you know you're getting something out of it anyway um i know it's not the same as what we originally planned but you know it's uh it is what it is isn't it i would also take a look at staking in well either a shopping pool uh, such as mine um where you could go here and you could stake in my shopping pool and uh, actually, I get twenty five percent. You you get seventeen percent uh, APY for staking Zoidpay there, but it depends if you're into Zoidpay or not. Um, I mean, there is also a possibility of using this uh, super farm here, uh, which I must admit is lacking in uh, statistics at the moment because um, you don't quite know how much Zoidpay we've earned, but the APY is supposed to be something like thirty six percent. But this liquidity here is made out of Zoidpay and eGold. So to me, that is probably a better use of eGold rather than making liquidity with eGold and XPEX. So I think it's handy to have eGold being produced by staking. So I would leave it there, to be honest. But I'd love to know anybody else's opinions on this or ideas or strategies. Because there are a lot of options now. I mean, Zoidpay, for example, you can meta stake it in Multiverse X's X Exchange. You can uh, stake it in this farm here. There's lots of options you can do with that. You can even stake Zoidpay on Qcoin now. And to me, I think, you know, Zoidpay and eGold, I would expect them to move in a similar way uh, because. Zoidpay isn't like Max, you know, it's not weird, and uh, you know, there's lots of things planned uh, in the future to use it in various ways, and uh, it's something I would look at if you don't know about Zoidpay anyway. 
Uh, I've done lots of videos on Zoid Pay, and I'll certainly do a lot more. But yeah, um, do let me know what you think. Uh, and while you're down there, give the video a like, leave a nice comment, make sure you're subscribed, and above all, tell your friends.